and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk a little more about legal and illegal riding on e-bikes because that seems to be a hot topic and everybody has opinions on this you know uh, and and you know the people that mentioned that it's a gray area, I kind of, I don't kind of, I do agree with them because it's gray because the, the laws are so vague on this and every state is different or your country is different. And, you know, until they change it and things are different, we go with what the law says right now. You know, that's all we can go. And so uh, we just do that. Um, but one thing, what if we had designated bike lanes that were away from the road, like the sidewalk, but even further away, like beyond the sidewalk there, and uh, we rode our bikes in those lanes? Um, would, would the laws be different? Would we be able to, for example, <clears throat> Here in Oregon, the speed limit for an electric bike is 20 miles an hour. It's supposed to be anyway, uh, maximum speed. Well, if we had our own designated lanes, we're no longer on the road. We're off-road, we're in designated lanes away from the road. Does that mean then that we could go off-road speeds or does that still keep it is that still going to be considered on road if we're completely away from the road away from cars we have our own designated lanes because really you're off road you're not on the road to me the on road would be with the cars so that eliminates that doesn't it let me know in the comments what you think of that I'm not advocating going 100 miles an hour or anything, but I like I like the uh, class three laws. I like the 28 miles per hour. I wish uh, all the states had that and just made it 28 miles per hour because I think that's pretty fair. Although I do think there are times when we need to go faster when there's no bike lane and we're in with traffic is it better to ride with the traffic or is it better to ride on the side and having the cars whiz by you or big trucks um i think that's a more dangerous situation but i don't know how long it's going to take or if they'll ever completely sort this situation with bikes out but i think Eventually, if we get enough people riding the bikes, things will start to happen where sometimes what happens is some, some people, just like a lot of things, it only takes a few to ruin it for everybody, right? Once something happens and laws get broken, then we tend to all have to pay for it in the long run but anyway yeah i'd like i'd love it i'd love it if they had uh bike lanes that were designated for bikes only like no pedestrians no cars just bikes because pedestrians have sidewalks and, and cars would have the roads we'd have our own designated uh, lanes i would like that I know they're going to say that the cost of that is high, but hey, I wouldn't mind, say upon purchasing a bike, if they had a little extra fee that they charged you that went toward uh, infrastructure for bikes, I'd be all for that. I, I would not have a problem paying, say it's an extra $50. Uh, you know what? I would be all for that. I, it wouldn't bother me if I knew that money was going to something that 
is going to be useful for uh, bike riders and, and make it more safe, which I think it would. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in on that one. I know it's going to take time and, and cost a lot, but the other thing is, where do we fit those in? You know, like how do we fit in a designated bike lane or a, a designated bike road, we could call it, our own road. Uh, I don't know, I like the idea, but I think I'm it's kind of a pipe dream. As they say, it ain't happening, or ain't gonna happen. But I'd love to see that, because I think that would get more people out on bikes, and uh, people would be a lot less afraid of going out and riding. Where they are afraid right now to ride. So, we'll see. But I think, more the more people that do get out on e-bikes i think that helps to push things along because we have more people pushing for stuff um i don't know that helps to get results i guess we'll see where it goes but uh, kind of a pipe dream though, I like it though. I'm willing to pay, put my uh, 50 bucks or whatever, I don't know how much, I just threw that number out there, I don't know. Uh, but upon bike purchasing, I'd definitely be okay with that. Because the bike lanes on the road are bad. They are bad for a lot of reasons. I, they can be still can be dangerous. They are a debris um, catcher, if you want, if you will. Uh, all the debris goes there, and we frequently get flat tires because of that. They don't get cleaned enough, and we're kind of squished in there, you know, like you feel like you, you feel like you have the leftovers of the road, which you do. And then you have things come up, uh, like trash cans are in your bike lane, or, uh, You'll have other things like uh, storm drain, uh, uh, drain sewers uh, that are uh, in your uh, bike path. And those sometimes have a pretty good dip in them. I don't know where you are, but where I am, some of them drop quite a bit, you know. And especially if you're riding at night, you know, you don't see those as well. Anyway, I suppose we could go on and on about issues with the bike lanes. But if you want to make a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'd like to hear your thoughts on e-bikes and bike lanes and designated uh, lanes or, or roads for e-bikes for e or just bikes in general. Maybe we could have a lane, a two lane, one for slower bikes 
kind of like what cars have sometimes in one for faster bikes. So the traditional bikes can go, you know, stay on the right, whereas the uh, electric bikes can go on the left. Now I might be getting way out of line, but that, that sounds good to me. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.